Hey guys, how's it going? So, back into my dad's workshop again. So, here we are uh, with a new t shirt showing uh, images in my head. So, if you've seen that video, it's kind of fun because I have this little character with all the stuff popping out of it. Looks pretty interesting. Okay, so today's situation, nice and simple. Um, what I did was this is something that you can do. Uh, that's not hard, right? It's a bit crafty. Um, so first things first, got myself a piece of canvas, right? And I have some styrofoam. Hey, styrofoam. What I'm gonna do is make these little straight pieces and I'm going to carve them and shape them so that it looks like, hmm, I wonder what it will look like. Maybe I'll make you wait a little bit on that, okay? No, I'm not gonna make you wait on it. What I'm gonna do, it's real simple. Uh, I will paint a background, right? And then I will take my styrofoam and apply birch trees, which are very, very popular in a lot of paintings. And so what will happen is you will have a three-dimensional painting. So, things are very simple. Things that you might need are a canvas, your styrofoam, of course, makes sense. Uh, I am lucky enough that I have a wire cutter or a heat cutter. So basically, well, this is a hot wire. That's what it is, a hot wire. And you can actually cut the styrofoam. So I like to use myself, but even with a razor blade, you could do this too. Uh, the other thing is I have a Dremel for shaping. Right. And then at the end of it, uh, I have some glue for attaching. And then I have paint brushes for painting. Um, and then uh, paint itself. And basically what I'm gonna do is I have the Liquitex paints that I'm gonna use that should work out perfectly fine. So uh, you can actually pick a season too, if you're going to do this. So let's get started. Okay, so the first part of this is pretty easy and pretty straightforward. You want to do uh, basically a little horizon line and figure out what's going to be the depth, right? So you uh, grab your paint and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go nice and simple. I'm going to go light on top and dark on bottom. Now. It doesn't have to be perfect. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to paint. Now, if you want to, you can have it so that your paint has strokes in it um, and different types of depth to it by going light on top, dark on the bottom. Uh, you can change up the color a little bit if you want it to have a, uh, a fall look about it. You can make it look like fall. If you want it to look like summertime, you can do whatever it takes to make your background, basically your sky, right, um, to look pretty, right? So you don't have to go crazy, right? And so basically what I've done here is that part is done. Now I can play around a little bit if I want to. Um, I'm also not going with a thin coating. I'm going with a darker, thick coating kind of a style. Little bit of blending. All right. So there you are. So basically what you have is a gradient so that when you put the trees in, it'll give you that sense of depth. Right. And if you want, you can go down maybe just a little bit farther. In some sections, in some sections not. Again, I have never seen a straight line in nature, to be honest. There you are. Now, if you want to get a little bit fun, you can also add a couple of clouds in there. And that, and that's just a matter of a bit of white. And then fan brush situation going on here. And that can add a bit. Do it quickly. Strokes, oh my gosh. If anybody says I sound like Bob Ross right now, 
the right to do. Well, we're just gonna make this real nice and pretty right here. That's right, we're gonna add those little clouds, those little happy clouds. The happy clouds are going in. Oh, look at that. Those clouds are so happy. They're actually elated. So there you are. Got a little bit of happy cloud. Makes me happy. Makes you happy. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Happy clouds. A little bit more white. This is a white. Oh yes, a tritillium or how do you ever say that? Yes. Yes. You know, that 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 white, the the one with the T. Yes, there we are. Oh, look at that. Those little happy clouds. Oh, happy clouds, happy clouds. So there you are. Step one. Nice and easy. Now step two. So I have added a bit of green and a bit of orange. Um, and then the lighter green that I'm using is a bright aqua green. So it kind of looks like water. Okay guys, so how do we wind up with our birch tree, right? Boom. Now if you take a look, birch tree, right? Take a look, pink styrofoam. Gotta have a piece of styrofoam, which I have. And what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to score a direction. And this one already has something on it. It's not really that big of a deal because I'm going to shape. Now, all you wanna do is a straight line, but it doesn't have to be a perfect straight line because there are no straight line per birches. It might, they might look that way, but that's nature's hallucination, right? Not a hallucination, but that's the way nature works, right? But it makes you think. It's just straight up and down. And all, like, I can make a couple of them real quickly. Uh, now, one of the things to do is try to follow a little bit of what the nature situation is. Because if you're going to do big trunks on the bottom, it's not a birch tree anymore. They're kind of straight up the, the pipe there. So now what I'm going to do here is I've got my hot wire. You don't need a hot wire. A uh, razor blade, uh, an X-Acto knife, absolutely perfect. No problem. I just happen to have a hot knife, so that's what I'm going to use. I simply turn on my hot knife, and then I'm going to start and cut it out. Nice and simple. So now that I've actually cut out my piece, right? Nice and straight. Well, not really, but kind of, right? Anyways, that's going to be my tree. So what am I gonna do now? Take the trusty Dremel and start to Dremel it out. Now, before I do that, you know what I gotta do? I gotta go and put a mask on. Okay, so mask. Uh, by the way, my wife made this mask. She's very good at this kind of stuff. So she made me a lovely mask to wear instead of one of those little ugly white things that just aren't that cool looking. So I start to Dremel and I start to shape. And basically because it's not something that's perfect, you don't have to worry too much about it being oh, wonderful, wonderful. And you can leave it flat on the top uh, and then just Dremel off the side areas to kind of give that depth. Sometimes what you can do also is uh, literally uh, bring a line across, almost like the birch tree would be, where it goes black and white, and that'll kind of give you a guideline. Helps too, right? So, Dremel, 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 and you'll have your piece that has become all smooth and round out. See how I did it, right? And then the next part will be, ta -da -da, painting. Oh, what will the colors be? Black and white. Now. Even to give a little bit more depth, I notice that if you look at um, birch trees up close, you'll notice that they have sometimes little pokey marks. So that's what I did. I poked at it and that gave me a little bit more depth. But I think I'll take the mask off. Makes it a little easier, right? So there we are. We make a bunch of them. How many do you want to make? It's up to you. How deep do you want it to look? You can make them thick and thin. So again, course gives you the depth 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 okay guys so I've cut out my tree right and as you take a look I rounded it off a little bit gives nice depth right gives that sense of nature okay and basically the next part will be to simply paint it white now before I uh, actually when I was finished I did actually take 
and use a fine sanding situation. Uh, basically to take off the little burrs and stuff like that, and a little extra little goo goo gee gaggies, right? Which uh, is a perfect language, goo goo gee gaggies, whatever that means. Okay, so I'll paint. Uh, I've got a few pieces like that. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you overboard the situation, you can that, uh, because you're going to cut and find out what's gonna work for you. Right? Oh, by the way, um, I do actually use this craft uh, paint uh, for the white base, uh, simply because it absorbs into the styrofoam really, really well. Uh, it has a bit of a chalkiness to it, and uh, it's cheap too, and that's great. Uh, but the thing is, it seems to work really, really well. I'm pretty sure there's other kinds of paints out there that will work just as well, but I just find that uh, that inexpensive white paint works really well. Uh, Deco Art paint works well. Here's my canvas. I've done it. Um, it's not pretty by any means. So you've uh, done your trees, basically your branches, and you figured out what uh, you want it to uh, look like shape-wise and width-wise, right? So now you take some black paint and then you run it across, kind of like a zebra stripe. And I kind of made some lines like that with my branch or whatever you need to use, paintbrush line, and uh, then pull the paint across and do like a dry technique. And it's okay if you get like a little dark spot and a light spot. I decided to change it up a little bit, as you can see. What I did also was I painted some lines in just to kind of let me know where I might put my trees. So it goes to show you right in the middle of something, you might say to yourself, oh, you know what, that's not exactly what I want. And the thing is, it's okay if you change. Well, lesson learned. Um, as I started to set this up, I realized that uh, it wasn't giving me exactly what I wanted. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually brighten up the background and where you see a little bit of leafing, I'm gonna make that run through the whole thing because as you put your foam on or your trees on, it kind of, uh, it needs the whole background to be kind of like that instead of just spots. I thought it would work in just spots. So as you can see, a whole different look. Um, and I think this will actually help in making sure that the trees come forward. Uh, first, I just thought maybe little splotches in, in different areas would be fine, but no, consistency works a lot better. All right, now here comes part that's not too hard to do. Basically, you've made your trees, right? You're getting ready to glue. So what you do is you simply score the backs. Nothing special, just a quick score on the back. And that will allow your wood glue to stick very well to the canvas. And it takes very little. And you make a little run, and there you are. Now, once you've made your little run, I find that if you flatten it out a little bit, that's a good idea too. Just kind of like that. And then, you glue. Pick your position. Press down lightly. And wait to dry. Nice and simple. So, here we are at the end of the product, right, of painting. I think it kind of worked out. I'll show you what it's all about. Oh, take a look. See? Now, I did something, and I think maybe it looks kind of cool. What do you think? I like that little idea there, and I think about that against your wall. It looks really pretty sharp, right? So, what we have is we have the foam, right, which is this part here, and this part here, right, and this is just painting in behind. That's it. Not too hard, not too bad at all, not too shabby.